Oh, I guess I should turn my mic since you're here, Cherry. <laughs> I was debating doing a commentary, but I did. I kind of went to uh, no commentary. I'm like, oh, I saw you join. I just want to turn my mic on in the chat. But, yeah, well, I, well, I needed to make stew, actually. <laughs> make some stew. Okay, I'll do that. Good old commentary. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm at like the point in the series where I'm just like I don't even remember the, what the last time I did a commentary. <laughs> it's everything's just a blur in this series now. We have this week off, no school. Oh wow. <laughs> yeah, I don't have it. I just had a day off uh, last week. I don't, I don't have like a full like week or whatever off until like winter, winter break. So it'll still be a while for me, but that's. That you at least have some, some time there. Oh, what was I making? Oh, stew. Get, get catch up. Go. Oh, for Thanksgiving, uh, American Thanksgiving, a whole week. Wow, you only, we only get like one day in Canada for Canadian Thanksgiving, which is in October. It's early October, like quite rather far. American Thanksgiving. Uh, that's pretty, pretty nice, though. Well, another gaping natural hole here. It's an opening, I guess. Kind of cool. I don't know, it's kind of a neat area. <clears throat> nice um, waterfall and whatnot. But uh, yeah, Journey to the Farlands. I think I. When did I last? 16th. Are we still at 98? Oh yeah, okay, so we're right where I left off on the 16th. So it's been a few days since I've done an episode. I've kind of just been a combination of working and. Um, Uh, had a bit of a get together with Devin and another friend. It was nice. Got to catch up and chat with folks. It was just nice. <laughs> Gollum. Oh, goodness. Devin like Gollum? I. Yeah, I, I think that's mean, but. I don't know. Hard to say. Hard to say. Can't quite tell. That. I can't tell if that is that. Is it just purely on looks, or is it like the just the, the way all the acts that remind me of Devin? Like how he talks about things like got that like very uh, very iconic voice. Have a very notable voice when you hear it. Oh, that one looks like. Yeah. With the talking, yeah. In terms of looks, eh, yeah, I, don't, I wouldn't say Gollum looks like Devin, although I'm not going to reveal too much about how people, uh, people look. 
the annoying talking. Yeah, that's kind of what I figured at first. I was like, but my precious. I haven't watched Lord of the Rings in a good while. I watched um, like all of them. Um, that was a few years ago. It was around winter break the other year. That yeah, was definitely a few years ago. Because I remember watching, I think Die Hard as well, around Christmas as well that year. And that was like probably a few years ago now. It's been a while, but I do remember the movies. They're pretty good. I haven't, um, oh, you rewatched them every year? Well. I don't really have much stuff like that that I rewatch every year. I just kind of rewatch stuff whenever. There, like, there's some stuff that I do return to a lot, but usually, yeah, that, that's a good, definitely a good series to go to. I haven't, um, I haven't read any of this, the original material, but at least I've at least I've seen the movies, <laughs> so I know generally what went on. going through the speakers and I just have the stream configured that way. Just glad I feel like restarting my game. Yeah, I I'm not too big of a reader. Like I think I could easily get into books, but I just don't really uh, I guess it's a time thing now, but even before I kinda was just not really interested enough in literature. I've read like like Moby Dick as I mentioned and that's like the only notable thing I've read other than like you know like novels like smaller novels not quite um old stuff. Yeah, maybe one day maybe one day I'll get around to reading some more stuff. Get a bit more of an appreciation for the literature that way but this we'll see. Uh, I need to gather some mushrooms. Okay. And my and uh, Minecraft through time episode two, I think, will be happening next weekend, not this weekend coming up, or this weekend right now either. It'll probably be the weekend after the weekend or next week or this weekend. Oh gosh, getting lost in the language a little bit, but. It'll be like a good week and a bit from now, because I think Devin's doing something this weekend. So I'm gonna maybe uh, figure something else out. I might, I might try and think of a new series or a, a returning series or something. I know Minecraft Through Time was already returning, but I kind of want to do something else. Maybe Stardew, maybe continue that or something entirely different. I don't know. Maybe the classic used to be. Yeah, I I like the classics. I'm more of into the classics, although I haven't read enough fantasy to really have an appreciation for it. I mean, reading in general, of course, but I know that for specifically too. Yeah, I kind of well, I stopped playing it. I think I just just around my trip, and then after I got back from my trip, I kind of just forgot, and time took over. I could definitely slot it in again. Like once a week or something because minecraft through time it it's definitely going to be running but it's just there's going to be skips and all sorts of things going on when we get me and devin are busy on weekends so maybe i'll see if i can work on an episode every once in a while for stardew maybe a bit more of an attempt at that or more consistency consistency than minecraft through time has I'll probably upload episode one of Minecraft through time around the time I film episode two. So then it'll be like a nice, nice release instead of, you know, people having to wait a few weeks in between episodes. I may, I may sound crazy right now mentioning something that I filmed a few, like a week or two ago already. <laughs> and I'm, our, I'm, you know, I'm already thinking about episode two. But I still have to finish editing the episode. I'll see if I am able to edit each episode to a certain degree. At least the big chunks. 
That was so crazy. Yeah, I'm kidding. I have, oh, good thing I grabbed water before this. <laughs> A hockey game tomorrow, which is nuts. Literally, who watches hockey? Yeah, I don't watch hockey. I used to watch um, one of my siblings. I used to watch my sibling play hockey uh, just because the, the whole family went. So I went, or I, you know, like parent. So I used to go and watch hockey. That's well, was many years ago now, but I remember just not really being too in tune with it. And I went to a um, an actual like hockey game, like a one, like one in town or one in town and um, eh, it's all right I'm not too into hockey really for being a Canadian and having like, it be all practically like a lifestyle for most people <laughs> there's a lot of people that's like that for I've definitely seen it but definitely not like that for me my hobbies are definitely a lot different yeah and what with ice we don't have ice <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's interesting. It's all like, I guess it's all like in like the arenas and stuff. Or maybe it's something completely different that I don't know. <laughs> that's at least my first assumption. Okay, probably should have some stew. I don't want my hearts to get too low. Usually I would like eat only when I have to, like gain hearts, like, to get, like nice efficiency, but I don't really care, honestly. There's gonna be like hundreds of stews I go through in this series. Why not add one or two more? Whole season's basically over. Yeah, I've seen um, I have stuff being posted about that because um, I follow Fig on Twitter, and Fig uh, posts about that. I think he posts about it. I, I don't know if it's an actual. I assume it has to do with football or some kind of sports thing. I'd assume it's in an arena or something. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'd figure that to be so. Most, I mean, most, like, hockey games are in arenas anyways. You know, if it's, like, there are, like, rinks, like, outdoor rinks, but it has to be really cold. Like, it's really hard to maintain the conditions of ice. I mean, I assume especially down in Texas. <laughs> of, like, an outdoor rink. I don't even know. Yeah, I've, I've, I've been to like an outdoor rink before. They're fun. Because it's like all snowy out. And it's just, I you know, like being in an arena except you're just outside. <laughs> I'm okay at skating. I haven't skated in probably over half a decade. So who knows how good I am now. But skating is just something. Yeah, I've been I've been skating though a few times. That's like what they get you to, that's what they got, get you to do in like, um, school. Like some of the field trips you do. I remember that. Among other things. Going skating. Or at least learning how to skate. And I took skating lessons as well. And I got, I got fairly good at it actually. I just never really got into the hockey side of things, just because I'm not a very sporty individual. Never did any sports. I did tryouts for some, but I didn't um, ever really make it much further than that. Okay, just go skating, go to the stockyards. some pork but should be all right football and soccer you like watching i i uh yeah, i haven't i don't know i haven't like uh watched much sports either i'm pretty uh <laughs> pretty one-dimensional most of the time 
I could definitely, I could see, I could see why that would be enjoyable though. I've I've watched like soccer before. I haven't watched much football. I've watched a little bit, but would have got into baseball when the Rangers won the World Series. Mm. I see. That's another, that's another sport I haven't played. Baseball. Um, oh. Just looking. I was just curious because I haven't checked in a while to see how long I've been walking in the journey and it's been it's day uh, 460 of walking the far lands for me that's yeah, a long haul for sure I'm not exactly making it very uh, quickly just because I don't got infinite time <laughs> not, infinite, not, even, uh, not even infinite just like any amount of time at all <laughs> to dedicate. I got a, I got a little bit. Like I got like pretty much the minimum right now. Ah, oh, jeez. You can go lower than that, but oh, at least I'm still going though. That's usually at least what I am at least appreciative of is the fact that I'm still going, and less so the progress. Free time until December. Oh, that's nice. I probably don't have that much free time because I got work and I got a you know, computer science, which is just a class that I'm just so just oh, inefficient at, compu at programming. I'm just. <laughs> I think I took it because I wanted to at least be like, you know, what? I might go into computer science, so I just want to take this class. I I'm not going into computer science. <laughs> I actually did a, I actually did apply for school, but yeah, it's just, oh, I hate, I hate programming. Well, it's not, I don't, I don't like hate, hate it, but like, I just, I'm not very fond of it. I'll put it like that. I hate computer science. Yeah, no, I, I thought I would like it. I think I like the idea of being able to like program things and whatnot and like make macros and things and you know, games and all this stuff, but eh, the luster wears off when you actually start to deal with all the, all the, um, all the, the code mumbo jumbo and all, all the, uh, the syntax and everything. And I just, you know, of course, I only did um, Java or JavaScript because it was very different. I think it was JavaScript though that I that I'm using, or it is JavaScript. I haven't done too many other languages. Not that I probably will. Maybe in maybe in uh, school later on, later down the line, I might have to eventually learn something like Python or C. But uh, at least it won't be like a big major thing. Pun intended. School, you know, major. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm definitely. Yeah, that's definitely not my forte. I don't really have like the drive in it. I mostly just do it now just to have marks for things. Like I don't want to just I don't want to fail the class. That's all I'm really banking on now. Like I swear, every assignment in that class I've been handing in late and like, oh, it's brutal. I'm just I'm just so slow. I'm so slow when it comes to it. So like. Everyone's already like five steps ahead, and I'm still like back like leagues back, even asking for help. I even do ask for help, and it's still actually uh, kind of. Was that? Oh, that's the spawner right there. It's a spider spawner. Just seeing if there's anything cool. Some 
saddles, but yeah, not much. Gotta get on out of here. Gotta keep going. Gotta spend like every waking moment in this world walking now. I wish I liked it, but oh well. Yeah, I'm more into math and science anyway. You'd think I'd like it, for, for, you know, liking physics and calculus and stuff, but I just, I'm not really all that into coding. Like, I really wanted to be into it like like you, or like you said about yourself. I, I was a lot like that, where I, when I was a kid, I always dreamed about making games, but I never really understood what went into it, I think. And now that I kind of know all the trial and error process and you know, I, I don't mind trial and error in life, but like programming trial and error is something else. And it's just, it's just draining. Like I don't get much joy out of it. <laughs> I, I kind of felt the same way about the previous time I took the class in like an earlier year. So I guess I could have seen it coming this year as well, but probably well, it's, it's all right. At least I'm getting a decent grade in it. Uh, not decent. I'm getting a pretty good grade in it right now. Because at least the stuff I'm making isn't half bad. Teachers are pretty, usually pretty lenient. Or, you know, university or whatever. Yeah, mine are good, but I've I've been working hard though. Although like, so, like the one class that I'm not doing well in is the class that you kind of need to do the homework for, and I just the busyness with work kind of catches up to that class. But I still managed to pull in some decent some de those, I'll, I'd call those decent grades, not like really good grades like in the other classes. Some of them are good, but the tests have just been. Eh. Little physics. Not because I don't like the cl the class or anything. It's just time. <laughs> it's just limitations like that. Not being able to study as much as I'd want to. Last year I think I did better, but uh, that was also when I didn't have a job. At least when I, I did have a job, but I was not working nearly as much. Yeah. If I, uh, yeah, I probably would have dropped computer science. I probably, I mean, I probably still can, but probably not going to. At least I'm doing okay in it. And I'll, it'll be a good enough mark for, you know, getting noticed with applications and things. Oh, I don't care. Yeah. Definitely won't be my proudest moment for sure. GP, MGP exempt. A lot of them too. <laughs> yeah. Who knows the point of you being there for your GPA exempt? Yeah. to do when I like am like in trouble is just have like mushroom stew and just keep eating it and use water buckets and things I think I just freeze up way too much and like with like laugh on bobs and things I just forget I and um I keep like getting a bow and then throwing it out and then I remember oh yeah I keep dying to like skeletons and like circles and a bow might be helpful in those situations but then I'm like, oh, it takes up so much inventory space. Mm -hmm. The whole dilemma. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's pretty surprising. That's, uh, I know uh, miles per hour, so I, I know that's, that's quite, quite the gap. 
Interesting. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we did cross 4.6 million. That's nice. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's like yeah. That's how it, how it how it is. Although, uh, <laughs> yeah. It was real. <laughs> We gather the world. I was like remembering just now that I was like, oh yeah, I remember the sheep punching or sheep dropping roll when I well when I punch him. I was playing um, the beta 1.6 or 1.6.6 uh, T1 or whatever on the Xbox 360, which was a lot of fun. I was playing that with Devin and the other friend there. Can't wait for winter. Oh, me too. Oh, oh, I, I like winter, but also my job is gonna get a whole lot harder in the winter, so. You win some, you lose some. I still do like kind of the aesthetic of winter though. Even if um the roads become a bit more unsafe and I guess you don't have to worry about a lot of that stuff too. Winter is like a whole can of worms. Well, yeah, yeah, it's partially in inside and outside work. I do. Uh, it involves some outdoor stuff. Yeah, the, you don't have to worry about when it snows. Yeah, for me, it's like snowing like crazy. You got like a good few feet of snow or, or more in the winter for <laughs> where I am. So, yeah, I never forget to drive. Oh yeah, it's like that, and of course like the road conditions, and oh, it's all this stuff. It's just, just a real, real, real something else. But I'm tired, although I guess I didn't get a very long sleep last night. Whenever I hang out with like friends like that, like a gathering, we all I swear we always stay up like really late and then we wake up at like like a fairly early time. So like it was like I swear it was like we were just chatting. Like we did we hardly even played many games. We were mostly just chatting about stuff. And you know, the hours just flew by. That's some pretty good discussions. But yeah, definitely time passed by and sooner or later I was like, holy, it is like 4 a.m. and I need to go to sleep. No older ice last year and I remember trying to drive and it wasn't that bad. When I started to drive a few, like a, a year or two ago, kind of like where I started to get a bit more into driving, I, I it was snowing pretty, 
badly, like when I, at least when I started. It was just kind of the tail end of winter, though, which is nice. And then um, last winter, I, I drove like the whole winter, which last winter wasn't too bad. It was just a long one. I think the one before that, there was a lot of snow. It kind of is different depending on the year, and I don't know how this year is going to be. It's already like late November, and there's still not much snow on the ground. There's none right now. Was that a hotel? My friend's birthday this weekend. We were up all night too. Oh yeah. No, it's just yeah, it's just that kind of thing. And I'm sure um, in our next hangout, I don't remember when that'll be. I think it'll be like another few weeks because we had another person we wanted to tag along. And they couldn't make it this time, so we're going to do another one in a few weeks for the get together. So I'm sure we'll probably stay up late then too. Like the, well, I think the last time I we did a I did like a summer. Get. I guess I'll just plug in my headset, I guess. I guess it died. There. Okay. Oh, I'm using the auxiliary headset for now. You were right, Jerry. It did die. It doesn't really give me any warning for some reason. Like there's no like power off button or like sound or anything. It's kind of weird, but I guess it is what it is. Oh, it's almost night time again. I might have to do a hidey hole. Crispy mic, as you would say, yeah. The mic that I started streaming with, because I only got the other one about the same time last year, my birthday. So I remember my birthday stream, I had the new mic last year. Although it wasn't much of a birthday stream, it was just like, you know, I guess I already talked about that, where I was just like, oh, my birthday, and then not too much else. Which I guess is the only thing. The only really usual thing I do. I would consider like a marathon, but I'm, oh, I'm off that day, right? I got the day booked off. Hmm, I could do a longer stream that day. Maybe I will, maybe I will. Maybe a long, longer commentary would be nice. Am I excited? Yeah. Yeah, that's coming up. Just next week. Well, uh, 19. Uh, 20. Oh, I think it is next week. Wednesday next week. That's nice. Yeah, there's only one more week. Or just over a, a week of um, November left. Yeah, I'm right. Yeah, it's, it's a Thursday, not Wednesday. Or no, it is Wednesday. Thursday is the 30th. 
so I can figure out what to do if I um, do a longer stream that day. Well, I, I probably, probably won't be too much longer than usual because I'll probably still celebrate my birthday a little bit. But. Oh, I, I have school. <laughs> I'll still be at school. I'm off, like, work that day. I specifically booked off. I booked uh, part of today off. I was kind of expecting to maybe be working right now, but I luckily I didn't work closing tonight, which was nice. Means I actually had time to work on that overdue project in computer science and do a little bit of a Journey of the Far Land stream for the first time in a few days. But I guess the next... The next bet I do will be a hidey hole, which uh, the be this will kind of be like the last resources from Outpost Four. <laughs> so yeah, that's finally gonna be done and dusted. Oh, I'll just keep that. I don't really care. Okay. I don't remember my next day off school. I just had one. It was just like last week. On it was on Friday, but it didn't really feel like a long weekend. I don't know. Like when I'm working and do all sorts of things, it just the weekend just becomes like it's less and less. <laughs> it was kind of. It didn't really feel like a long weekend for me, but it's all right. Well, I guess I didn't really have a full day off. I guess today was my day off, but there were still like friends and stuff over and all this. I know um, you guys, you on the stream can hear the the game audio. At least I hope, but I I can't <laughs> I can't hear it because it's going through. I can hear it a little bit, but I can't hear it through my headset, so it's kind of weird. It's like silence, and I can hear like you know like loud things, but I can't hear most stuff because I have it turned down so it doesn't play through my mic. If, in case it does, I think I do have um, noise suppression, so it, I don't know if it would, but. Don't really need to hear the game most of the time. It's just a little bit different than usual. It was because it was because I was like do, setting it up like an old commentary episode. And I didn't have my mic plugged in and all this stuff, and I plugged in my mic and beta minecraft it or it didn't change the sound output or it doesn't do that by default a lot of my older games are like that too so it kind of still is still going through the original sound like thing it was going through at the beginning but i still have like the mic on so until i restart the game it'll just be like this so i probably won't restart it <laughs> uh, probably yeah, I'll see if I end up, or see how long I end up going for. I kind of miss doing longer episodes because it means I actually could sit down and like watch something for a good few hours or, you know, whatever. I, I usually don't do extended commentaries. Unless I'm chatting with people, or I got a lot to talk about. Well, it's usually still like about like two or two and a half hours, but. No, I just, I haven't done long episodes in a while. I only have done like one, two hour episodes for like a while. I think I, I think I did do like a three or four hour episode the other week, but. Eh, it's just not the same as the summer. The summer was just a whole other time. Was definitely one of the the, the good times and during the Farlands was the summer and Farland anniversary and all that. So much progress before everything got busy again. But um, I'm, yeah, I guess in late January things will be a bit more, a bit more lax. 
The summer was a whole other time. Yeah, and don't get me started on like a year ago. Like a year ago, like the class, like school was so much easier. A year ago, even like first semester, oh, it was so much easier. Yeah, I had like it was. I think it was just the general classes. Like I had a lot less homework most days. Now I have. I have, I have, I think I'd say less homework, but I also work a job, which I didn't do at the time, because I worked a summer job and then I got let, or got laid off or let go or whatever you want to say it, in uh, September. And I was still surprised how I was able to be pretty efficient even while still working that job, but I guess that was, I guess I was still able to do it this past summer while working a job, so, so school sucked last year for you. I mean, like, the latter half really caught up to me, like, <laughs> especially June, but, like, the whole, the whole, like, yeah, the whole part, like, this first half of the year was pretty interesting, or pretty interesting, because I, I had, like, COVID, and, like, right after exams, and all of this stuff went on, and it was just, it was just a mess most of the time, and then, yeah, it was, like, the busiest par part of school so far oh and you had medical issues up the wazoo yeah imagine getting covid no oh, yeah my, the, my friend that i hung out with he had covid like um a good three plus weeks ago i remember when he said, talked about it he kind of mentioned it a little bit at the get together but i kind of talked to him before about it a little bit yeah, he's had it too. And uh, yeah, I, I had it in like January. And that was like, oh, the whole, the whole little stretch of COVID or whatever. I never had it. I got like, I, I think last year I got, I got sick so much in a short span of time. Like between like, so, like so late September and like January of last year, I got sick like three times, three or four times. <laughs> Cause I remember be, having a cold in September, I think. I think I had a cold in September, and then I had a second cold, I think, in November. Because I remember I made, I remember when I did, like, videos, like, I think, um, oh, marching on was right after I was starting to feel better. Which was, like, one of the first episodes I did. Or I guess it was, like, episode 11 or whatever, or one of those, one of those. Too cool for COVID. Yeah. Guess so. Guess so. All sorts of snaps and things. Oh, Four point six million. Don't think I've actually been sick this year. Just had migraines. Yeah, and I've never had migraines. I've had headaches, but not migraines. I know because, well, I've I got family who have had migraines and they definitely are a lot different to what I'd say I've experienced. Well, my mother has like, or has like, or used to have like chronic migraines a lot, so. Yeah, it's, a, it's uh, something that I've definitely seen and heard a good deal about. Uh, that's what you have yeah I think she well, I think she takes medication for it now like she seems to be a lot better with it like it seems to have um, be not be affecting her as much but definitely used to have a lot she still like, takes days off work for migraines and like, you know that kind of thing and she's gotten sick a good deal too exempt exempt from the draft I don't know what the draft is, but that, that sounds good. If you're, if you're, uh, you sound happy about that. Sounds like, uh, so if they change it to include women, I'm in the clear. Well, I miss, oh, when you get drafted for war. Oh, yeah. 
That's lovely. No, I always just hear people joking about being drafted for war. I hear. I guess not a very common, common thing. But yeah, I guess you'd be exempt. Oh, that's kind of cool. Maybe I'll take a screenshot. Just some land masses and things. Let's go for a bit of a boat ride. I swear, war war is America's middle name. <laughs> So yeah, I guess draft drafting is uh we're getting drafted for war war is uh, something you have to keep on the mind. Which I do have enough for one more bed, so I'll do, I'll do a hidey hole after t this day. After this day. It's, been, it's funny, it's been a few days and I still have like nothing to say. I'm, I lead a very um, straightforward life. <laughs> it usually has to be a good good um, break for me to have like a lot to say. I don't really got much to talk about. Just because things happen, but not really much notableness. And of course, there's just stuff I don't really... Oh, actually, there, no, there's a few things I could talk about. Like, for one, the other... The other night at my job, there was so many people, so many people out uh, trying to steal stuff. <laughs> it was like last week, and it was just wicked. There was just like someone every other, every other like like half hour or whatever. That was or not even. It was like in bursts. <laughs> it would be like one per bam, bam, and then you know, three minutes later, it happened again. Someone's trying to steal stuff, and the asset protection and security would go after them and get the stuff back. Which is kind of funny. It's good that they get it back, though. I've heard that um, they used to not really do much about it before. And now they seem to be doing stuff about it. So I can't say that anymore. I can't say that they don't do anything. What do you want to say? like a kleptomaniac. Okay. Oh, that's interesting. Don't want that creeper to get any ideas. Definitely not a good thing. Yeah, I'd say. Uh, better not blow my bed for the creeper. Oh, hello, skin. <laughs> There's a lot of skellies, look at them. Serpentine. <laughs> serpentine, serpentine. Alright. Uh, Kurt says that a lot when I, when I remember watching Farlands or Far Bust. He says that a lot. Serpentine. Was there in reach. There was no one to stop me. <laughs> well, that's, that's interesting. Certainly something else. Five thousand blocks. Well, five thousand blocks close to the far ones, I guess. I'm getting block, block, just block by block. We'll keep going. Don't steal kittles. 
Not that kiddos would watch this anyway, but hopefully not. Hopefully not. Not that there's really anything super bad, but I don't know. I don't think that's really my audience is children. <laughs> Definitely think the audience is more like teen teen to adult or older. That's what seems to be on the YouTube stats. Guess you can talk about the way I say kiddos in the next special with Cherry, where Cherry makes fun of the way I pronounce things. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> it's just every time Cherry is in an episode, it's just the list comes back. Oh, there's plenty of more hundred specials, I'm sure. At this rate. And there's also Far anniversary next year, <laughs> which I'll have to definitely work up a bit of a, a, a roadmap for that. Uh, Trey makes fun of the way you pronounce things. Part one million ninety-eight thousand two hundred ninety-four. Wow, that's lovely. I remember typing in the episode title on like. I think yesterday's episode, or the one, or not yesterday, but like the last one on the 16th, or maybe before that. And I, it was like two, like 1,200 episodes, or like 20, or two, 2,100. Oh, what was it? 2,233 or whatever. I was like, that's not right. We're not, we're not that far into the the journey. <laughs> God, I hope I don't get that far. Like I want to get to the far ones, but I also don't want to have it. To, spend 2,000 episodes getting there. <laughs> Kurt J. Max had 1,000. He's been doing it over a decade. Almost um, 13 years. But I also can... Big changes next year for you. Oh, for me too. Tomorrow's going to be... A, or <laughs> tomorrow, next year is going to be uh, definitely quite the big year. This year was pretty crazy, but I think next year will probably be a bit crazy too. <laughs> Maybe a little bit more in the latter half. Especially if I do hold true to my Farlands promise of getting to the Farlands before I have to worry about school. But I'm not, I don't know, I'm not really, well, that's kind of neat too. But I'm not gonna force it. Like, I mean, I'll try, but yeah, we'll see. It got set in stone that I'm moving to Minnesota. Oh, that is cool. Minnesota. Yeah, moving. I have, I've never moved. Although, school might change that. We'll see. Depends where I go. Where I get accepted to, I guess I should say. I do like this area. It's kind of neat looking. Will we start bringing my stuff up in December? No. Well, right around the corner then. <clears throat> because November's already almost over. I don't even know where November went. <laughs> I swear I'm going to be like, it's going to be like school starting next year in like no time at all. Spooky. That's where I got accepted to. Ah, that's cool. Time is going so fast. <laughs> oh, tell me about it. Sometimes I it still feels a little bit weird that I've done two hundred and almost two hundred and forty episodes of Journey to the Farlands. <laughs> My birthday's in February, so I'm gonna be all old and stuff. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep, uh, mine is coming up, too. <laughs> Very soon, actually. Ah. Uh, start the yard. Yeah, I don't know. If, we'll see how far I go. Hmm. Times are changing. Well, 
Uh, I was gonna go for school. I probably won't be going like too far for school. Like at most, I'll probably just be going across the province. I probably won't go like out of out of province or out of let alone out of country. I'm I'm not gonna do that. At least right away. I don't know if I can say, be open to doing that later on, but because it kind of depends where things go. Gonna start simple with the simple stuff for now. You wanted to go far? No, I don't. Well, I mean, I, I don't really have a problem with going far, but... And I kind of want to see some other stuff other than where I live, because I've, I've basically, you know, I've been here all the time. Oh, auto mod. Funny, whenever auto mud kicks in, I forget how to even change how it does things. It's funny though, because I remember when I um when I started the Discord, and one of my friend or one of my old friends tuned or joined the Discord, and was just like they said like they said like um I won't say what they said, but they like said something with a swear like as a joke. <laughs> And, um, and it, like the auto mod kicked in on the server, like right? the the moderation thing, it was kind of funny. And it was like, oh, action needs to be taken. I'm like, oh, zip it. <laughs> it's all right. I that was like the last, first and last time I used it. Although I think the Discord's small enough that it could be pretty easily modded most of the time. I think the channel growth has definitely slowed down, but I'm not too really bothered by that. Because I don't really... I haven't really been... I don't really... I wasn't really bothered with it to begin with. <laughs> That's kind of just a byproduct of archiving Journey of the Far Lands and doing whatever else I do on this channel. <laughs> I just... I just keep on keeping on. and Whatever else, wherever happens, just... You know, it's just there. America, we have the freedom of speech, so take that auto mode. And in Canada, there's the freedom of expression. That's what it's called in Canada, in the Constitution, or the Constitution. Uh, what's the, I'm trying to remember what the maybe. Char the Charter of Rights. I think that's what it is. Freedom of Expression. Amendment number one. Freedom of speech might be a different one. I don't remember what, what, what they all are. There's a bunch. I'm not too caught up on on uh, pol government policy and things, legislation thing, all that. Because we have no time making sure that we could have guns. Gotta love, gotta love the politics, eh, Jerry? Shot there. <clears throat> yeah, you never know.
You would never bring up politics. <laughs> Thank you for watching, everybody. Tuning or tuning in, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya, Cherry. Whenever I see you, I guess whenever I stream during the far end, the next if it if you're around. But uh, yeah, all right. Goodbye.